Hey folks, this is Alex the eBay guy here at Beckley's RVs in Thurmont, Maryland. Here we have a 1995 Winnebago Adventurer. And this one's a little unusual. You'll see it's got a Ford drivetrain to it, which has a lot of advantages to it for a pre-owned motorhome. Now, just up front, this is a vinyl wrap, the old original style printed vinyl wrap. It's glued on. And obviously the early vinyl wrap didn't work very well. So the appearance of it on the outside is not the not the greatest. Originally it had like a mountain scene, if you can see here. There's like trees. And the guy was a race car driver. Uh, there's little, um, I forget what they're called, enduro cars or something like that there. And um, so what I would do, just for aesthetic purposes, is I just remove all this graphics. Um, if you can't remove it all, at least get it down to where it's smooth. And then I would vinyl wrap it again. But this time with uh, the modern vinyl wrap. And it doesn't have to be a perfect job, but it'll give it a nice, uh, um, give it a nice finish to it. This side uh, fared a lot better. Obviously, the other side was parked in the sun. Um, so that's enough about the exterior uh, coloring. But the advantage of this is it's got the Ford drivetrain with a 460 engine in it. Starts, runs, drives super smooth. Parts are available for it. On these older coaches, you either got um, the, the workhorse. Who went out of business in 2008 or you got the um the ford and the uh the workhorse it's just so hard to get parts for it especially that braking system that they used thousands and thousands of dollars to fix one of those so uh we got some awnings above above each of the windows <coughs> excuse me a lot of pollen in the air today we have a generator back here right up when you when you want to use the generator you just plug the coach in right there 30 amp power service you got a rock guard here along the back got a real steel bumper on it does have a, a receiver there you got a ladder to get up to the top and because it's a Winnebago we've got a fiberglass roof here now we do have some delamination on this and there is some bubbling on the other side of the wall here, but you're gonna see right here, now let me step back, it's gonna be the easiest way. Right here under this corner of this window is some cosmetic delamination. Right here by this yellow marker right there is some delamination. And we got a little bit right here over the wheel well. Now none of it's structural yet. If you keep it sealed up, it'll do just fine. It's just got the, the bubbling in there from the from the glue releasing. Got an entertainment system behind here. Uh, tire date code 2019. So you got uh, fairly fairly new rubber on here. And these are 16 inch tires. So when you go to replace them, they're going to be fairly reasonably priced. The awning material is uh, been replaced and looks in uh, fairly good shape take a step inside here you've got a nice long sofa that makes into a bed I'll just do a quick overview here and then we'll talk about some details okay so again Ford drivetrain it started here Starts right up, fuel injected, 82,359 miles. Battery disconnects located right over here. On the left side, you got a generator start stop button here. They've installed a separate uh, engine temperature gauge here, always good to have. I'm not a big fan of idiot lights, I like gauges. Um, the, the cool thing about a Ford drivetrain is the air conditioner on the dash blows super cold. There's workhorses, one out of ten of them work. We got storage up here. Cathode ray tube television, I'd probably replace that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, this seat swivels, of course. You got a table here. This makes into a little dinette. This seat has seat belts. Now, cool thing, 
the previous owner went through and took down all of the old foam um, headliner material that they used back then. Just like your cars, it didn't last. As you know, it, this backing material fell apart. So outside the cabinets, he took all that down, went behind and took the trim off, painted the whole thing. It's not a perfect job, but it looks really nice compared to what these normally have in them. And this is the old material right here. So you see how it falls down there after time like that because the, the backing disintegrates. But uh, he took the time to do that throughout the coach. Also, the ceiling is solid because it's a fiberglass roof on this. It's in really good condition. We've got a new uh, chassis battery in here for you. Um, the old batteries were kind of dated. You probably will want to replace the RV batteries, the, the house batteries. Uh, lots of manuals here. The previous owner had all the manuals if you, because he did a lot of the work himself, obviously. Kept all the tags. And uh, there's the original Winnebago manual. Microwave. I'm testing the refrigerator here. Um, I just turned it on, so I'm going to put in the ad, but I don't know that it doesn't work. It says on the check-in sheet that it did, but i like to test it for myself so you guys know for sure that I checked it. So this bathroom has two entrances. Uh, you can just go in right here from the front, or you can come around here and go in through the bedroom. You got a little coffee maker here with a little bar set up. Back here we have a full walk around queen bed with a large cabinet in the back. All this is storage back here. Really nice. Slide out spot for a TV. Years ago that's how they mounted the TV. There's lots of closet space. A decent size on that walk around bed too. I'm 6'5". Nice, nice amount of room. Got a fire exit window right there. You got all that storage up here. Second AC unit right there. All right, this is the window bit. Oh, uh, two condition things. Uh, we do have a crack window here on this side. That's just a flat plate window. And there's a floor seam right here where the, um, that's just carpet on, over, over wood flooring there. And you, it, it's the two pieces of wood, typical of these older motorhomes and travel trailers. They're uh, rocking back and forth with each other where the seam is. Uh, that is fixable, but uh, you, it's not something you need to do either. Anyhow, if you got any questions, you want to come see it, take it for a test drive. Alex eBay guy 240-405-7790, 240-405-7790. Make sure to ask for Alex the eBay guy.